and right now the energy on the planet is so off the charts that uh, you can't hide anything. Um, so this is a very important time to uh, go inside and to um, and just to become conscious of your thoughts and um, because what you need to heal is going to be running through <laughs> your thoughts. Yeah. So, and you can't, we can't push them down anymore. Mm -mm. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a good time to be alive. Yeah, it's a, it's a great time to be alive. I, I like to think of it too as we're like, we're, we're, we're setting the foundation, we're building the foundation for like our kids and, and this energy, you know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. So, there's so much that like I want to accomplish with, with everybody in, involved in this. Um, yeah, one one thing at a time. But yeah, if if you have if if there's something that you need to heal with yourself, and if you've noticed something just coming to the forefront of your mind, like really randomly, that's what you need to heal. Like that's coming up for a reason. And if it's you know you know if it's a great experience or something, then that, no. But something you know something you've had an issue with or, or something. Because with me, that just kept happening. Everything like all my fears were coming up. Like one at a time, you know, just gave me time. And then, you know, you, you got to, you got to heal that. You got to work through that. And then if you don't do it, if you don't really heal it, it'll come back and it'll keep stronger. coming back. Yeah. Until so you, so you figure it out. And, uh, there is one thing to that though. You said that, you know, the happy thoughts and sometimes it's really good to just waller in that yes. happy thoughts because you you need <laughs> you need to waller in that in that in the happy thoughts yeah uh, because that's you know you that will help you you know reboost your energy to deal with uh, whatever you're the rest of it right now yeah yeah but let's not get too caught up in in yeah. the negativity <laughs> because you are creating what you focus on. And that is getting faster and faster. And I do think that as your consciousness expands, you create faster and faster. And uh, so the more you awaken, the more you want to let go of focusing on what you don't want. Because you're going to create more of it faster and faster. Yeah. Uh, so we are talking about last night with uh, the love or fear train. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you, you got to pick that train you want to, you want to be on and, you know, before before long, you're you're gonna be stuck on that train. You know, so if you if you don't want to live your life in fear, guilt, and shame, maybe you should try the love train out. See how that yeah. See how that one feels for you. Yeah. I'd much rather be there than 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 the other one. Or at least question why. Go deeper. Yeah. Why do yeah. I feel depressed? Like why? Because it it really comes to like how's it feel. Dude, if you have beliefs that don't feel right, they're not right. Like, like if you think that everybody that doesn't accept Jesus Christ is their savior is going to hell, does that feel right to you? Like, if it does, then that's cool. But dude, it, it, how can that feel right? I mean, no. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. When I when I first started awakening and, and going to the spiritual side of it, because you know you get through the whole everything you've ever been told a lie, up, yeah. and then it's like, yeah. lie, <laughs> screwed up, we're manipulated, we're controlled. And okay, then, that's cool. You're yeah. on the right track, but there's another step, yeah. and that next step is it's, the, it's, it, it's the it's a different awakening, and it's the awakening where you become untouchable. And that you're literally creating your life and all the shit you've been worried about, you realize that you're feeding into that and it's affecting you more and more. But you can take your attention away from that and create a different life. You don't, because I, I absolutely don't feel victimized by anything. No. Like I, I, I accept full responsibility for everything that comes into my life. I do not feel, I mean, but I did feel like a victim for decades in my life. I mean, yeah. it's not like I had this like crazy happy life, you know, <laughs> like I dealt with the same shit everybody else is dealing with. Yeah. Just horrible relationships. Uh, you know, my parents broke the divorce when I was five. My mom was an alcoholic. She drank herself to death. Abusive stepdad. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all got that shit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not diminishing. I'm not diminishing at all. 
But I'm just saying, like, don't get caught up in your, oh, why me? Why this happened to me? Because, dude, it's happened to everybody. And, um, but there's a reason it happened. You chose those parents. You, you chose, you created those relationships for a reason. And as soon as you learn that reason, um, you, it almost, you're, you're, you're free to create a new you, a new version of you. With new relationships and, and new beliefs, new beliefs, and um, it's 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 funny looking back. It's 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 easy to do, but I guess at the time it wasn't easy to do. Yeah, no, well, yeah. So I, I I literally I'm I don't even remember not believing really? what I believe now. That's awesome. Like I, I don't remember being a victim. I know I was. Oh yeah, because I was on the news and mm. I was one of those like Alex Jones prison plan <laughs> guys and like fucking everybody, you know, like oh my god, the archons and like the yeah. reptilians and like the <laughs> the you know the governments and the Federal Reserve and like blah blah blah. But that like after a while, like like my life wasn't any better. No, like it actually, it's worse. It's a, yeah, and, and and I really felt like. The more I researched how control would work, there I felt like I was getting this energy from it because it would excite me. It, it mm. would like there's something I'm like uncovering something. Yeah, it's all bullshit, man. I never it, thought of it, it like it, that. It, it, it's it's I, I I thought that it was giving me energy and it was just keeping me in a box. And um, luckily, I stumbled across some information that allowed me to kick those walls down. And, um, and once I kicked the walls down, my life changed. Yeah. And, and that, yeah. that, that's my first several videos was, I literally was always talking about your box, you know, your box of understanding, your box of beliefs. Like you, you got to expand your box and then, you know, that's how it starts. And then you just, you just break all the walls down, you know, don't, don't you always accept new information you know whether no matter what it is always be open to it because you know the <laughs> the truth is so much stranger than fiction that that it, it, and the only thing i know for sure is that i really don't know anything so approach things like that you know it's like there's there's no limit to what you can learn and, and then you can start with your discernment to to like how you feel when you hear certain information that you just know it's true, you know. Mm -hmm. You just know that's real, and that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. And uh, yeah, I never thought about like with the the whole like conspiracies and everything. You're going down that rabbit hole and how that that excites you, especially like when you start connecting certain dots. You know, you get yeah that, yeah yeah. That, you're that like oh yeah, like, yeah yeah yeah, and that kind of feeds into yeah. more and they go deeper and deeper. But it's the, the reality is, is you are such a powerful being that you're actually feeding this would we'll say this low frequency controlling aspect they feed on fear and so you're actually feeding them what you're trying to uncover and discover you're feeding into them and i decided a long time ago that i'm not going to I'm not going to give them a fucking snack. <laughs> so um you know cryon said something i heard the other day that, that really resonated with me he said that all those those fear feeding mm -hmm. that we created them yeah yeah that they're that, us they right we're all we, we, we made that and then yeah. we we feed it. it's our creation and we're nourishing it yes, with the constant exactly. fear so all you have to do is 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 know that and and you know shine your light yeah that's 